Hi guys, so what am I doing here today? Well, <clears throat> I, uh, I want to share with you my um, little problem here. I have an engine check light on my, uh, in my Tundra. I have here a 2000 Toyota Tundra. It's the first generation Tundra. As you can see there, the engine check light is on. So we're going to check what is going on with the check light and what kind of code that the computer is trying to throw at us. Okay, so as you can see that my engine is on. So to do this, you don't really need to turn on the engine. All you need to do is just turn the key switch to on. And what you want to do is locate the OBD2 port right there. Once that's done, take your little OBD2 scanner. Uh, mine is the Auto Scanner Plus uh, CP9180. I bought it from AutoZone. So anyway, I'm going to plug it into here. Once that's done, as you can see, my little Actron code scanner here turns on. And I'm going to choose Vehicle Diagnostic. Okay. And now I am going to read uh, the code. Okay. And so right now it's working. To find the code let's see what the computer throws out at us it's reading okay so we have the code p0155 it's telling us that it's the oxygen sensor heater circuit malfunction bank 2 oxygen 1 and that's what it says Okay, so if we don't, you know, if you don't really know what the, where that is, I'll let you know here. Get your little handy dandy repair manual. So if you look at here, it says bank two sensor one. It is on the passenger side. Okay, that's the exhaust manifold on the passenger side. This is the exhaust manifold on the driver's side. So if you look at here, this arrow right here, it's bank one sensor one. That's the first one up here. But that's bank two, which is the passenger side, and it's the front one here. Now let's take a look at the uh, engine, and uh, I'll show you where it is. Okay, so we are underneath the uh, car, the engine. Uh, if you look at here, this is a catalytic converter here. That's a phalange con uh, uh, connection right here. Okay, right here. You see that little thingamajigger right there? Like a spark plug sort of like with a little um, wire that runs to it? Anywho, that's the bank two sensor one. Okay. Uh, normally on Tundra trucks, uh, the first generation, you have four, okay, four oxygen sensors. So you have that one over there. It's uh, exactly on the opposite side. And this, this will be the second one right here. Okay, and then you have a third one right here. And a fourth one right here. I don't know if you can see it, but you get the idea. It's right there. Okay, so there's four of them. And so the computer is telling me that that one is bad. So we're going to be replacing it with a brand spanky aftermarket one it's gonna be a fun fun job so here's two uh, working under the car it'll be fun if you're interested in how to take that out and how to fix that code uh, come with me and we'll work together okay guys so to remove that little uh, oxygen sensor there you need a special tool uh, you need what we call a spark plug oh no spark plug I'm sorry you need a uh, oxygen sensor socket okay there's varieties of sockets that you could buy at your local auto parts stores to take that off but this is what I use it's called a crow foot okay and um, it's split like this, okay? 
so that you could you can attach it to the spark plug. I mean, to I don't know why I keep calling it spark plug um, to the uh, oxygen sensor. Okay, so um, this is how you put it in. Okay, see that little slot right there? You uh, and see that little thing right here? Basically, that slot right there goes over that and goes like that. Okay, so then with my because being that it's a crow's foot what it is is um, <clears throat> this thing right here okay you can attach a little thing here onto it like that okay like that and then you could lever it like a regular socket so this thing is called a crow's foot and uh, it's a very unique socket okay so you know, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna require two hands, one to put this up here to hold it from to hold it from slipping out, and one to lever it leverage it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on hold, and I'm gonna um, lever it out. Okay. Okay, so it's loose right now. I leveraged it out, and it's loose. And then what you need to do. Uh, See that little pigtail up here? If you can see it there, or right there, that's a connection plug right there. And uh, you're gonna have to, uh, right there, you're gonna have to uh, unclip that from the plug. And once you're done, you can uh, replace it with the new one. And I'm gonna put this on hold so I can unplug it. Okay, so now you have the plug here disconnected. What you need to do is, since you have this um, disconnected here, I mean, unloosened, I mean, what you need to do is spin this out, like so. Okay, and out comes the oxygen sensor. And this is how it looks like. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing much, it's just a piece of metal with some elements in here. Dust. So that's the oxygen sensor. This is the new one, and uh, supposedly it's supposed to replace uh, that one right here. This is the new one. So let's uh, put it in, put it right into that string. So let's check the connectors here too, make sure that they are the same. You can look at here. And they are the same. They should go in. Okay, so let's take it in. And let's connect it. Okay, so to do this, I'll have to uh, use both of my hands. Uh, let's see if I can do it with one hand right now. Okay. Using my lefty. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to use my righty as well. Okay, so it's in. It's a matter of just twisting it in. Okay. From another angle. Okay. So then I'm gonna have to tighten that. And since I don't have a torque wrench, oh, why well, actually I do? I don't know if it'll be accurate, but I'm gonna kung fu tight tighten this. Okay. Just be careful when you tighten this. Don't tighten it too much, to the point where you uh, you mess up your thread. And don't tighten it too loose where it comes out. All right. So I'm gonna do this. Okay. So um, it's done. It's uh, up there. I plugged that in. Sorry for not showing that part, but it's really tight up there, and it's very far up there. Okay, so that plug is in, and the oxygen sensor is in, it's really tight. Okay, so let's go start the engine, and let's turn off the uh, um, engine check light, and I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, so now I am in the uh, cockpit, and so basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key, okay, 
to on, the on position. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, turn that to off, uh, to on, and then plug in the uh, USB, uh, you're not USB, I'm tired. Uh, the OBD2 port plug, and so now, what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna go here, we're gonna erase, uh, we're gonna erase the, let's see, okay, we are going to erase the code, okay, once we do that, um, Once we do that, then, I'm sorry, I didn't do it right. Okay, hold on guys. Um, well, I think I'm doing it right. So let's uh, wait for it to communicate with the vehicle. Once we do that, it'll, okay, so the code is erased, okay? And so let's start the engine, and there. Okay, so that's fixed. Okay, no more engine code here, no more engine check light. Let's just go down downstairs, uh, underneath the car, to uh, to check to see if there's any leak. Okay, I know it's not, there's no leak because I have tightened it very, very hard. And it's not hot yet and there's no air coming out, so that's good. Okay, so it's still good, all is well, and that's how you uh, replace the oxygen sensor. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you like this, please subscribe so I can make more videos.